Hi guys, Rob846 here, welcome yourselves back to TT Alaman, right on the edge on the Xbox One X. We are continuing with career mode, and we've got another section of the TT course to do. This time we're doing sections 3 to 4. I don't know how we're going to get on with this, but uh, we're definitely going to find out using our triumph as well. Let's go do this. Okay, I'm ready. I haven't changed any of the settings, still as they always are. Sections three to four. Let's go do this. Here we go. So our first run on part of the TT course, we've done sections one to three. And we managed to get around without crashing, and we won as well, which was a, a bonus. Can we do the same with sections three to four? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to give it a good go. Hopefully, we'll get a win. Yeah, let's get him fast. And we've got a kink coming up. There we go. So, we've got a proper corner coming up. Okay. That was fine round there. So we have nearly got enough money for a superbike and I'm sure by the end of this video we'll have enough we can purchase our very first superbike. That is the plan. Just try and follow the road, follow the directions. not crash. Where are we going? We're going right. It's quite a wide corner. Oh, well, so far so good at the moment aboard our Triumph Daytona 675. Oh, fellow wall. Don't want to be doing that. hit that wall as well. Yeah, I've no idea how long this section is going to be. We're already over two minutes. It looks like it's going to be the quick part now. Almost into the curb again. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that is that one done, but have we won? Yes, we won by 15.3 seconds. A lot more than what we won at our first attempt on sections 1 to 3. That's another win. Okay, we can go on to the next race now. Milford Street Circuit. Let's go do this one. Okay, so this is a TT style start. Two laps around here. Let's go. Not the best of starts. Massive wheelie. Maybe we can uh, make up that time that we just lost. Let's go as quick as we can. Like I said, there's only two laps around here, and it's a short circuit anyway, so it won't take long to do this race. Tight turns. Not be too wide through them. There, and then we've got another tight turn. Short burst through the shipping containers. And then we've got another tight corner. Just run to the line, and that's the first lap. Pretty much done already. The line is coming up here. Okay, on to our second and final lap. 
slide in the rear around there. It's a nice little circuit this one. With it being so short, it's such an easy circuit to learn as well. Bit of a weird circuit to do a TT style start on it though, because if you've got loads of riders, you can end up lapping loads. But coming to the end, and just a run to the line, and there we go. Have we won that one? We had a horrible start. Yep. Oh, 1.1 seconds we won that one by, so it was, it was pretty close. A lot closer than the last race we'd done at the TT. So 1.1 seconds. So some races, the AI are uh, pretty close. Other races, they're not. Oh, we're doing another section of the TT course. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Sections 9 to 10. Okay. Another part of the TT course to learn. Hopefully we can do a good job. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's go and do this race. Okay, here we go. More TT course action. Here we go. Can we get a decent result here? I'm gonna feel so slow because I still don't know where we're going. about learning. Yeah. Oh, this is a gooseneck coming up then. Yeah, going uphill. We're actually catching up to a slower rider. Despite the fact that I didn't feel very fast at all. There he is. Right. Oh, we took a better speed run there and we're past him. So we're going quicker than at least one rider, that's for sure. Can we continue going quicker than the rest? Go right. where we are in relation to the other times. But I'm hoping that we are there or thereabouts, although I don't actually feel that quick on this section at all. It surprise me if I'm not in the lead. Coming up, a left. Come on, keep it together. Even the bumps. What, did that just say I was like... Yeah, I'm nine seconds off of the lead, so I'm about fourth at the moment. I swear that's like the first time that's ever happened and come up on the screen in any of the TT runs that I've done. Okay. 
So we are way off the pace, I thought I was. Just have to try and do what we can. We're probably going to end up lower than four. Hopefully we can... Uh, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see when we finish where we actually end up, but... Definitely not going to win this one at this rate. Very lucky if we even get in the top three, or even to hang on to four. Just don't know where I'm going, so it's not like I, I can push around any of the corners. Got the right coming up. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, I've done it again. Went to slow down for a corner and the finish line was there. Okay, so we're actually second at the moment. Three seconds behind. 3.1 off the lead. Yeah, and the, okay, so we finished second, but we were 3.1 off the lead. So we actually made up six seconds in the final sector. So we're going to do it again and see where we actually get if we can go any quicker, that would be a massive bonus. See if we can actually go a little bit quicker and make up those 3.1 seconds and try and take the win, if possible. So that was my first run through there, which was okay, but nothing special. I didn't feel very quick and that showed in the results, so let's do it again. Let's see if we can go any quicker. So the first little bit, first few corners we can go much more quicker through. Yeah, that feels better. Already feeling quicker and we've only done about four or five corners. Much quicker around there, we were tip turn around there last time. We can go quicker through this section as well. Oh, we're already caught up to that rider and we're past him at the gooseneck. So we are going quite a bit quicker than last time already. We're past that rider, we're leaving him behind. Remember, we didn't actually pass him until this right kink coming up. Yeah, we're through there. I'm going to keep an eye on the right hand side of the screen so that when that um, timing comes up then uh, I'll be able to quickly glance to see how we're actually doing. Hopefully it won't say 9 seconds behind again and we're not down in 4th but I'm feel, feeling much quicker this time. Run is much quicker, it looks much quicker, it feels much quicker. Come on, my little trumpet. Trump Daytona, which somehow goes 190 miles an hour. We're going to talk more about that at the end of the video. So far, this lap is uh, looking so much better, a lot quicker. I'm keep an eye out for the timings, it should be coming up any time soon, I think. Yeah, there we are, okay, we're second. We are point three behind, so we are looking good for this one. Why don't we can keep it all together and don't end up crashing? Let's see another rider just appearing on the mini map. Okay. Are we gonna catch this guy before the end?
coming up. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, we went over the curb, but it didn't bother us too much, so that's fine. You can see the other guy. So bumpy. Okay, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going still, but. Okay, we're coming towards the end of this run though. I don't think we are going to catch that guy. That's fine. Are we going to win the race though? We're done. And... 7.3 seconds. So yes, we have won this time. 7.3 second lead. And that is us done with that section of the TT course. So, it took me two attempts at that one. I mean, first attempt was trying to just feel my way around. And uh, yeah, second attempt, just thought I'd go for it a bit quicker. And uh, yeah, we managed to do it. We went from coming second three seconds behind to winning, so all in all, pretty good overall. So, I did say I wanted to talk about top speeds for a moment, but first we're going to buy a superbike because we've got enough. So I bought my superbike, and what superbike are you asking I bought? Well, we're going to find out. I was thinking about Kawasaki. I was thinking about BMW and I decided to go for Cameron Donald's Honda CBR 1000 Double R. That is the bike we're going to be using to begin with in our superbike career in TT Alaman right on the edge. So that is our first superbike. We'll be using that in the next race because I say EBR Invitational and it's superbike only. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, in the next video. So yeah, let's talk about top speeds for the bike. So I'm going to go and... Uh, right, so top speed of that Honda is 203 miles an hour. BMW, 190 miles an hour. And there's a few of them, 190... 193, 195, 198, 203, 203... 192... The Norton goes up to 210, but the Super Sports 198 for Bruce Anstein's Paget Honda. Cameron Donald's is 198. Yeah, so quite a few of the Super Sports have a higher top speed than the super bikes so I think that really needs to be patched and sorted because that shouldn't be the super bike should be quicker top speed wise than the 600s but anyway guys that's it from me thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more content I'll just see you guys in the next video see you